What's up guys, welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump right into this super easy brow routine. So starting off, I'm gonna take this Total Temptation Brow Pencil by Maybelline, I love this thing. This is what helps me to get a super precise brow. So first I'm gonna start off by taking the spoolie on the end of that brow pencil. As you can see, I've got a lot of bald spots in my brows. I've, they just look crazy, but we're gonna fix all of that. So here I'm taking this um, razor. Um, they sell these in the beauty supply, super inexpensive. You can get, and I just, I don't even get my brows waxed or threaded or anything. I just use this and kind of follow the natural shape of my brow um, and clean them up every once in a while. So that's what I was doing there. And now I'm taking the Total Temptation Brow Pencil and this brow pencil is angled. So it definitely helps me to get that natural brow. Um, I don't press down very hard at all. I press down very light, which again helps me to get the natural brow. And if I wanted um, a more defined eyebrow, I would probably use more of a pomade, but this product can also give you a more defined brow. You would have to just apply a little bit more pressure um, just to get that more defined, bold eyebrow. So I'm just making sure to fill in those spots that didn't have hair in them. Um, also, you probably noticed that I drew a very thin line at the very beginning, which also helps me to get a natural brow. Um, some people will tell you not to do that, but I personally think that it really helps um, if you just th draw a thin line. So now I'm taking this Wet n Wild Brow Highlighting Pencil, which can be sometimes too, not sometimes, it is, too light for my skin tone. Um, it's just a really white pink product. Um, and it comes out very, um, it can come out sometimes too like stark white. So I like to go ahead and blend that out very well. I don't use a whole lot, I just use a little bit, draw a thin line. And then I take a, a color that's maybe two, maybe two shades lighter than my skin tone and I set that and that really helps to make the product pop and look a little bit better and just match my skin a little bit better. And overall, I just really enjoy highlighting under my brows like this. It just makes them look like I tried a little bit more. And then once I finish with everything, I go in with this e.l.f. brow um, gel. I love this stuff. I have been using it forever. And I just go ahead and set them and make sure to kind of wisp out the fronts a little bit. Because I don't want the front of my brows to be boxy. I just don't like boxy brows. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk to you in the next video.